Hi, uh, I'm Stuart Trevor. Uh, I was the founder of All Saints, um, and uh, and then I went on to uh, found another label called Bolangara Trevor, and um, we we're talking about um, music and how important that is to retail and fashion. To me, uh, music in stores and and as a designer is is a key element in uh, it. 100%. I mean, it's probably, first of all, comes, you know, the actual clothing, the design, the quality. Uh, in stores, then it's, you know, the, the interior and then the staff and the attitude of the staff. And then it's the music. The, you know, someone comes down to London for the day or, or to whatever city uh, and they go shopping and they go into your store and they love the clothing and then they meet people that are cool and the music is incredible and they walk away. Even if they don't buy anything, uh, they walk away. Um, and the memory's there. And... They'll be asking their wife, you know, a year later, you, we're going back to London, you know, that store, that amazing store, and I never bought those jeans and I really wanted them. And, you know, they were playing like, uh, they, had, they had Bowie on the whole day and it was just incredible. Um, and, and people remember, they might remember the music more than they remember what it was they loved about the store. When I opened my first All Saints store, uh, I mean, basically, this was in the days before MP3 players or whatever, and I, I gave them all my CDs, and I gave them in a, in a list of, and I gave them a list of, you know, Monday morning, I want you to play these, and they could select from four or five different CDs, and then the afternoon, you want something. In the morning, you want something a little bit, you know, more mellow. In the afternoon, a little bit more up tempo, and then the art. And late on in the evening, you know, people may have had, you know, a couple of drinks at lunchtime, especially at the weekend, and they come in and they want something thumping and and get people really in the mood for, for buying and and you know, and after a couple of weeks, the store staff get into it and they would then bring in their music and they could bring in their favourite CD and and you know as long as it kind of fitted in with what what I thought was cool, they would generally, you know, I want them to have. A, uh, a relationship to the music. You would get days when you'd come in and they'd be playing Kylie or whatever, or so, and I'd be like, I'm sorry, you, you know, you can save that for when you go home. They can, you know, there's nothing wrong with Kylie, but it's not what I want my customers or in, in my stores. I want them to hear something, you know, like Bob Dylan or the Beatles or the Stones or, you know, something like that. Or some hot, amazing new electronic dance music, something like that, you know. I don't think it would be possible for me to work in, a, in an office or, um, or a design studio without music in the background. And one of the most important things as a, the owner of a business and, and, and is to keep your staff happy. I think um, music is, is one of the main things that, that, that you can give your staff um, and it will make them work harder because they, they enjoy, they'll enjoy their day. It, it's more important than most people could possibly imagine, I would say, yeah. Everything that I did as a designer with uh, All Saints or Bolangaro Trevor was influenced by um, music and by you know rock, rock rock stars or you know bands or artists. And um, I mean, we did a we did a runway show in New York in '98, and it, the whole collection was based on my school days and '80s music. And uh, we played. Um, I think we started off with the Clash, London Calling, and then it was. Um, our lips are sealed. Um, Fun Boy Three, and the clothes were amazing. And then af afterwards, there were six other designers showing at the same show, um, and all the the press were queuing up to interview me and and my wife Kate because they the music. All they wanted to talk about was the music. We were like, can we talk about the clothes? But then you realise that you know what? Uh, all the articles that got written. Um, they, they started off talking about the music, but people then researched that music, knew that music was cool, then they remember the name of the brand, and, and our sales in America doubled that year. And it wasn't just because of the music, the collection was amazing as well, but the reason we got all the press and everybody else didn't was because we had amazing music. I've actually been in stores when there's no music playing and, and, and gone and emailed the owner of the store and said, listen, I went to your store the other day, and, You've got staff, and we're not. I mean, I was in there for 20 minutes, and not a single. And and I've even gone up to people in stores and said, "Do you not play music in the?" And they're like, "Oh, sorry, we've been busy. We've got a new delivery in." But you know, for me, I I, I don't think it's possible. It's it's ridiculous to have a store open and not have music playing because that creates the vibe.
one of the when, when I first opened the Bolongaro Trevor stores, something that I did that was um, really exciting at the time was um, I put record players in the stores, and I would go around all the flea markets and buy whatever I could find. Um, that was really cool. Um, I mean, I, you're talking about the first store was okay. I'd put all my own vinyl in there, and then you would buy something really cool that came out, like a you know a Barry compilation or whatever. And we used to put a dull, bulldog clip on the wall with now playing and clip the the record on on the wall and um people loved that it was like a, that was another thing that kind of made their visit to the store memorable that was one that the store played vinyl two that they stuck it on the wall and three it had now playing and you could like everybody got really excited about it